Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. So tonight we're going to be making dinner. We're going to be making some pizza um, and it's going to be me and the whole crew. I've got hubby here and there's Lauren. So tonight we're going to be making some pizza and it's going to be homemade pizza. Um, we're going to do some barbecue jackfruit pizza. Don't know why I had it down that low but you know it is what it is. Um, these are going to be our toppings here. Got some barbecue sauce, I mean barbecue sauce, pizza sauce. I may just go with barbecue sauce on mine. Um, we got some jackfruit. I'll be rinsing that off. Um, we've got our pizza crust and each one of us will make our own individual pizzas. Um, these here are vegan, accidentally vegan. Um, top it off with some seasonings. We've got some Italian seasonings. Onion powder, garlic powder, little basil, some salt, nutritional yeast. So you can either make your own barbecue sauce or you can use whatever barbecue sauce you have at the house. Totally up to you and whatever you want to do, but let's get cooking. So we've got some jackfruit here. And I think I got this jackfruit from um, Thrive Market. I ordered it online. I'm just showing you guys kind of what it looks like. Again, one hand in it with the camera. So I'm going to throw the box around to make sure it happens. Um, but it, to me, it looks like like barbecue meat um, when you pull it out. But it's not. It's jackfruit. I'm going to take and um, rinse this off because I'm not sure what it was sitting in, but I just usually rinse it off. I'm going to um, heat up this pan with a little bit of avocado oil, maybe about a tablespoon. Who knows? A little bit more, a little less. It really doesn't take a whole lot because I'm just going to be um, heating up the meat pretty much and just kind of like um, cooking it down a little bit. So that way we can evenly um, spread it over our pizzas and stuff. So <clears throat> that's what I'm doing here. I'm just going to take and try to uh, break it up and crumble it down. My handy dandy red spatula was not doing the trick tonight. Um, so I had to go in and get the heavy duty uh, more thicker plastic spatula to help me crush crush it up and um, make it into smaller pieces so I can fry it up a little bit better. Um, once I grabbed that spatula, I was able to like break it down just a little bit more, but hey, it did the trick. I still kept my spatula close by because she's still my friend. We do good things together. We do. Now I'm going to season um, this jackfruit up with just a little bit of seasoning salt and some um, <clears throat> excuse me onion powder and some garlic powder. I think that's all I'm going to put in there tonight, you know, it just depends on how I'm feeling. But that's going to help to have it, make sure it gives it a little bit more flavor to the meat because the jackfruit itself doesn't have like a meat flavor. So it's going to taste like what you put on it. So I'm going to season it up just like I would any other uh, meat or meat alternative. Now that I've got it all seasoned up, I'm going to finish frying it up and getting it ready um, and then check in with the rest of the fam bam. Lauren's busy making some salad. <laughs> and Dad's helping make mushrooms. <laughs> so we're gonna also top it with some mushrooms and some red onions. He's gonna cut up the onions for me because I don't like cutting them up. He's my friend. All right. So we're cooking this jackfruit. Damn. Yum, 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 yum. Now that I've got the jackfruit cooked down a little bit, I'm going to add in some barbecue sauce. Um, we went with the Sweet Baby Ray's. Sweet and spicy, I believe that was the flavor of the one we used. Um, you can see me, y'all. If you watch any of my videos, you know my motto. We want not because we waste not. So I'm getting it all up out of there. I'm going to use a little bit of water here to thin this barbecue sauce out a little bit so it can spread out evenly because the sauce is very rich. And if you don't thin it out a little bit, it's going to be very powerful. It's going to overpower the whole pizza. So I thinned it out a little bit and kind of like let that simmer for just a little bit of time, maybe two, three minutes max. Who knows? I think maybe five. Um, but then we move on into the other topic. You want this big? Huh? You want this big? They're going to cook down. Oh, what are they cooking? Are we cooking them? 
Well, yeah, I don't want to eat them raw. I thought they was going on the. Oh, so they, they are, they, but. They all cook on the pizza and then disappear. Now that the duck food's all done, I pulled it out of the skillet and set it off to the side. I'm going to use this same skillet and saute my mushrooms and my onions. Now for the mushrooms, I'm not going to use any oil in it when I cook these. I'm just going to use a little bit of water to help me saute them. Um, I try not to use too much oil in my cooking um, because it's, you know, not really good for you. So I try not to use a whole lot of it. So I found that, you know, putting a little water or a little vegetable broth in your veggies as you're sauteing them also helps to cook them down. It does a marvelous job. Same thing the um, oil will do for you as well. Let's check out these onions that my husband did. Didn't he do a good job? Look at them, y'all. Okay, okay. So the mushrooms are simmering down. Now I'm going to go in and saute the, um, the onions as well so you can put them on the pizza. Because I didn't want them raw and I just sauteed them just a little bit. Um, then we're going to move into now prepping the pizza itself. And my husband ended up with two of the mini pizzas, and Lauren and I both got one. I'm um, just going to take and start topping them with the different things. So we're going to put a little bit of um, avocado oil on it. Honestly, that's all I use on mine. Got my cute little spatula. Y'all like it? Or brush. It's not a spatula. It's a brush. I'm going to take and brush this all around on the pizza. Um, it helps it to bake better, I'm believing. It tells you to brush it with a little oil. I think that's what it's going to do. It's going to help crust it up and cook it up for me. You know, I don't know. I just try to follow the instructions as best I can when I'm making stuff. Um, as I get that oil all brushed all over this pizza, now next I'm going to add in um, the pasta sauce. I was about to call it barbecue sauce yet again because I'm so into this barbecue sauce. But I've got the pasta sauce. I'm going to put a dab of that on there and kind of spread it around as well. Get it evenly coated on the entire um, pizza and um, get it going. You're looking at me do mine. I'm going to show you um, Lauren's and Dad's here in just a second because theirs look just good, just as good as well. Just as good. There's Lauren's and then there's Hubby's. You know, he's working on a masterpiece. In deep thought. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's finish prepping this pizza. So I'm going to top it off with some Italian seasoning. And all the seasonings you saw, I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit on the crust itself to give it some flavor. And then I'm going to top the pizza itself off with the other seasoning. Um, put a little bit of onion powder on there. Um, <laughs> sharing a little bit with my little one. She was in a hurry to get it. so, And then a little garlic powder. Um not a lot. I love onion powder more than I do garlic powder. So you probably saw me sprinkle more onion powder than garlic powder all over my stuff. Um, but then, you know, Lauren and Dad are also putting on their seasonings on top of theirs as well. Now on to the barbecue jackfruit. So this is what it looks like all cooked together. Not sure why I decided to use these tongs. It was very challenging to get it out of the bowl with those tongs. But I think I went ahead and... Um, changed my mind when it came to the mushrooms and onions because I got frustrated because I couldn't get it off of the actual spatula. But here are my mushrooms and onions. Now I'm going to um, top the pizza with some mushrooms and a little bit of onion. And then we're going to probably, more than likely, I think I want more barbecue sauce. I'm going to put some barbecue sauce across the top of it with um, a little bit more uh, nutritional yeast to add a little bit more flavor to it. And then once we're all said and done, I'm going to get it ready to pop in the oven. See these onions giving me the blues as well. It just can never cooperate, you know, never cooperate. <clears throat> but hey, we had fun making these pieces together. This is something that we do as a family. We get together and get in the kitchen and kind of cook up recipes because we just enjoy them. We enjoy that time together. So now I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of nutritional yeast on top. It gives it like a cheesy flavor, um, nutty cheesy flavor to help make it taste more like pizza in my mind. I mean, you be the judge. You put it on there yourself and you tell me what you think it tastes like. Um, so I've got the nutritional yeast on there, topping it with a little bit of barbecue sauce. And then I'm going to put a little bit of mozzarella cheese on top of that. Um, and it is vegan mozzarella cheese. Um, I like the Daya cheese, the new version. 
this the one they had before now was not very good but this one now that they've changed over to the, with the chickpea is really really good and that is what mine looks like with a little bit of basil across the top of there to give it that chef's kiss final touch to it before it enters into the oven looks so yummy so yummy i can't wait everybody's pizza is near completion this is mom this is lawrence good job and these are dads yummy 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 into the oven they shall go for 10 minutes then we can eat so while those are in the oven, I'm going to get our salad ready um, so that way we can be able to eat when these pizzas come out. Because this, it got laid on this trying to make these pizzas, didn't realize the time had gotten so far away. So we've got a little bit of romaine lettuce, um, some English cucumbers that my daughter Lauren, y'all saw her, cut those up. Um, and everybody's going to get a little bit of that. And then I'm going to focus on my bowl and finish fixing it and allow them to do their own. So me and Lauren got a little bit of bacon bits. Um, Dad doesn't eat them. And then we put a little bit, well, I did, a little bit of vegan ranch and vegan Thousand Island. The Follow Your Heart brand of dressing is so good. You guys should try it. I add a little bit of pickle juice to it, too. This is all done. Let's see. And this is what they look like straight out of the oven. And they're all done. This is mine. They're still fixing theirs. This is Lauren's. Her salad. She's going to put some dressing on it. And this is Dad. And he's going to put some dressing on his. And then we're going to eat. Yum. You ready? Yes. Me neither. Dad, you ready? Yes, always. Always ready. Oh. So, we're going to go eat. See ya. Be blessed and less stress. Shanti speaks.